Right, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Aesthetics of Baking. Welcome to this Valentine's special. These cookies were to die for, so watch till the very end because they are honestly one of the best bakes I've done so far. Do like and subscribe and comment down below other bakes you'd like me to make. So, as I say, this is a Valentine's special. You know what, if you are at home, either with someone or not, then I really recommend making these cookies. It's a good way to get through the day. Firstly, let's start with the ingredients. So the first thing you'll need is 100 grams of granulated sugar. This is the same sugar you put in your tea, so easy to get hold of. As you can see, I'm using my new containers. I feel like such an Instagram person with my little clear containers. Then you're gonna need 165 grams of brown sugar. Now, I only had dark brown sugar in the cupboard, but it works out fine, so you can definitely use that. Um, but you can use light brown sugar as, um, instead or as a replacement if you, if you prefer. Hope you guys are liking the setup as well. I tried to make it kind of Valentine's themed. Then you're gonna need one teaspoon of salt. Um, always feels a bit rogue, but actually really useful. Then you're going to need 115 grams of melted butter. Um, I do show me melting it because it does feel like a step to me, um, but it says melted butter. So there I am staring away. Then you're going to need one egg. Now, if you're new here, I always show me with an egg, even though you know what one looks like. There you go. Then you're gonna need one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a staple in the baking cupboard that gets used a lot. Then you are going to need 155 grams of plain flour. Again, I'm using my aesthetically pleasing containers. If you saw my short, I cleaned out my baking cupboard and um, decanted a lot of things into these and it was just really satisfying. So yeah, check it out, I'll link it in the description. Do comment below what your plans are for Valentine's Day, if you're doing anything nice, or if you're trying any of the recipes I've tried on my channel. I'm planning on making brownies for Valentine's Day, so I'll let you know how those go. Then you're going to need half a teaspoon of baking soda. Now the eagle-eyed of you will spot this before I did. I accidentally used baking powder. Now there is a scientific difference. I don't know the difference. Just to let you know, the, you should be using baking soda. Then you're going to need 110 grams of milk choc chips and then 110 grams of dark choc chips. Now let's get into the method. So the first thing you're going to do is whisk those sugars, the salt and the butter all together in a bowl. I went out and purchased a new whisk. So this one actually didn't just fall apart every time I tried to use it, which I guess is just the principle of like a basic whisk. Um, but here we are, got a new one. So um, that was really handy. And you just whisk that into a paste uh, it doesn't have to be completely smooth because the sugar is quite granular, but as smooth as you can make it. Then into that paste, you're going to whisk in the egg and the vanilla. Now, you can watch this bit because I'm just cringing even like editing this video, watching it back. I don't know why I didn't measure out the vanilla. <laughs> I think I thought I knew best. I'm an idiot. So do measure out your vanilla. Don't get cocky with it. Um... Look, I use way too much vanilla and if I would have left the sound on, you would hear me um, let out an expletive. I managed to save it, but yeah, just weigh out your ingredients. It's like a simple part of baking. Yeah, I just didn't do it. Then you're going to sift in the flour and the baking soda. Um, this bit, really satisfying. Could sift all day. Literally don't find it boring. It's like my favorite bit. And then you're just going to fold all that together, so try not to let too much air out. It's not like a cake where you need it to rise or anything, but it's just good to um, make sure that you're folding it all in and just incorporating all that flour, because the last thing you want is a lump of flour in your cookie. Then you're going to fold in your chocolate chunks uh, or chocolate chips and leave to chill. So I put this in the fridge for a couple of hours. You get a more toffee-like taste the longer you leave it in the fridge. So I left it in there for a couple of hours, but there's only so long you can just look at cookie dough and not want to eat it. So I got impatient. I'm seeing a theme here of me just lacking patience. I guess that's like something I should probably work on in general life, but also baking. Then you're going to preheat your oven to 180 and you're going to scoop your cookie dough onto a lined baking tray. So I went out, uh, as I said in my previous cookie video, I went out, I bought one of those cool ice cream scoops with a little clicker on it to try and get them into better scoops. And I don't know if it's because I've never used one before. I completely messed it up. I was so annoyed. I was trying to click it off, but then realized I've been scooping it 
with the clicker on so it all gone underneath the bit that was supposed to click it off i realize i'm making no sense but i tried my best um and to try and salvage it i tried to make the last cookie into a heart shape just for this valentine's special i hope you appreciate it because it was a faff then you're going to bake these cookies for 12 to 14 minutes it is up to you depends how chewy and things you like it but i think 12 to 14 minutes were um just keep an eye on it in that time leave them to cool or if you want them warm just dig in and then enjoy these were delicious i turned them all into heart shapes in the end because it just look at them a valentine's aesthetic who wouldn't be pleased with one of those so whether you're enjoying valentine's day or you're feeling a bit like this cookie go bake them they really will make your day a lot better hope you guys enjoyed i really enjoyed making these leave a comment of what you'd like to see me make next do remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one have a good valentine's day